In this video, we're going to look at Roger Federer's forehand grip. Now, Roger plays with the Eastern forehand grip, which is the most conservative grip you can use in the modern game. Now, let's quickly review what exactly is the Eastern forehand grip. Well, here we have a shot of the tennis racket handle, and the handle is divided into eight sides, which are also called bevels. And if we start on the top of the handle, that's bevel number one. And then if we move clockwise around the handle, we get to bevel number two and bevel number three. Now, the eastern forehand grip is where your heel pad and your index knuckle, which is part of the palm, the index knuckle is the first knuckle of your index finger, where the heel pad and index knuckle rest on the third bevel here. So a simple way to find the eastern forehand grip is to hold the tennis racket out in front of you like I'm doing here with my left hand, and then I grip it like I'm shaking someone's hand. Now that should put your heel pad on the correct bevel, the third bevel here, and it should also get your index knuckle in the right place again on that third bevel. Now let's look at some pictures of Roger hitting a forehand and see where he positions his hand on the racket handle. We'll start with the heel pad and then move on to the index knuckle. Now in this first shot, let's move in on his hand and we're going to highlight the third bevel of the racket handle and we'll put a dot on his heel pad. And when we do that, you can see that the heel pad is in line with the third bevel. Let's move to another forehand and do the exact same thing. Move it in, highlight the bevel, dot on the heel pad, and you can see that the heel pad is resting on the third bevel. And for clarity's sake, let's do it with one more forehand and the heel pad is right in line with that third bevel. Now let's move to the back perspective and we'll do the same thing but see where the index knuckle is resting, what bevel the index knuckle is resting on. And when we move in on this first forehand, we'll highlight the bevel, dot on the index knuckle, and you can see that it's resting on the third bevel. In this next forehand, again, the index knuckle is on the third bevel. And now let's look at a picture of the bottom of Roger's backswing. And moving in on the hand, from this perspective, you can see that again, the index knuckle is resting on the third bevel of the tennis racket handle. From the pictures we just looked at, we can definitively say that as of March 2009, Roger hits with an eastern forehand grip. Both his heel pad and his index knuckle rest on the third bevel of the tennis racket handle when he hits a forehand. And we have a ton of other pictures that we didn't include in this video because they show the exact same thing. Now one of the things we did when we were researching this video was try and find specific examples when either his heel pad or index knuckle did not rest on the third bevel of the tennis racket handle. And out of the 3,000 pictures we have that we looked at of Roger hitting, we found one example, one situation when that's a little bit unclear, and we're going to put that up right now. Now if we zoom in on his heel pad, you can't really tell if he's got his heel pad smack dab on the third bevel or if he's cheated over a little bit to the edge in between the third and the fourth bevel. Now it might just be the perspective that we shot this picture with, the perspective of the camera, or maybe his grip has been adjusted a little bit further around. But the key point you want to take away from this video is that while there might be exceptions, the vast, vast majority of the time Roger is hitting his forehand with an eastern grip.